Hello, my name is Andrew Rossington and I'm the head teacher at Arno Vale Junior School. Now usually by this point in the year, we will have invited you into school to come and have a look round to meet the staff so that you can make an informed decision about the next stage in your child's education. However, with 2020 being as it has been, we've not been able to do that. So what I aim to do with this short video is to give you an introduction to the school and hopefully it will answer some of the questions that you may have. Now as you will know, your application for a place has to be made through the Nottinghamshire County Council Central Admissions Team by January the 15th, 2021. At Arno Vale Junior School, we aim to give your child the best opportunities and the best experiences that we can. And this is done by offering a very broad, balanced curriculum which allows the children to find out what they're good at, to develop new skills and also to receive help for some of the subjects they might find a little bit tricky along the way. Now we follow on pretty much from Woodthorpe Infants in having a two class per year group system through the school and we're supported by a team of highly skilled teaching assistants. At Arno Vale I believe that primary education is so much more than the SATS results at the end of year six and I hope that you will experience that as a parent as your child progresses through our school. Now in Arno Vale we only have three rules and they are we are safe, we are kind and we are ready. But these are underpinned by five values that were developed with the help of our children in school, by our school community, by our teachers and by our governors. And they are determination, respect, independence, curiosity and honesty. And every Friday we hold a celebration assembly where children are rewarded for displaying these values through the work that they've done or through the actions that they may have done through the week where we celebrate them being good citizens and just basically trying as hard as they can. We promote positive behaviour as much as we can through school and believe this is the route to good behaviour. We have undertaken a thorough revamp of our behaviour policy and staff have received in-depth training so that we can support your children in the best way that we can because children do get it wrong from time to time as adults do but we will sit down with your child if this happens and talk them through the choices they made and how they could make better choices in the future. Now when your child starts with us in September 2021 one of the new things that they'll be experiencing will be Spanish. We teach Spanish once a week across the school to all the classes and the children love it and it's fantastic to be able to walk through the corridor in school and hear the children conversing to each other using the phrases that they've learnt. But many of the lessons will be familiar to them. We do English and maths in the morning along with guided reading and phonics and we have a practice session as well where the children are able to really practice some of the skills that they may have been learning but perhaps don't feel so confident with so we make sure that every day they have an opportunity to brush up on those skills that will really support them with the learning through the rest of the day and the rest of the weeks. The children will also have two hours of PE per week and the afternoon learning is often uh, enveloped in a theme. Now this can be a geography theme, a history theme or a science theme but often it will link in lots of other subjects so quite often art will be done through our theme work, DT will be done through our theme work and computing will be done through our theme work too. We work very closely with Mr Hopkinson at the infant school to make sure that the transition from infants to juniors is as good as it can be and usually we create lots of opportunities for the children to come to us to meet the staff, to familiarise themselves with the school and familiarise themselves also with the different routines, different systems we have, for example staying for a school lunch which is very slightly different to the, the uh, meal system that they have at Woodthorpe Infants. Hopefully as things get back to normal we'll be able to offer this again in the summer of 2021. Now that's enough from me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand you over to my deputy head teacher, Chris Baker, who's going to give you some more information about the school. Thank you.